If you haven't checked out Google Earth's new features on the iPad, it's pretty neat. So let's show you some ideas that you could use in this in your classroom. Very first thing you could do is you could use the magnifying glass right here to search for a particular location. So for instance, I put in Lancaster and I have these information cards that pop up and I can learn a little bit more about Lancaster if I'd like. Uh, I can swipe through and I can see all of these different points of interest if I'd like to learn more about them. Uh, I can also use the three-dimensional map by simply tapping on 3D. I can zoom in some by pinching and I can showcase different areas. Um, I can show the different geographic uh, features of that particular area. I can show population trends, uh, the effects of suburbanization. Uh, this is a really neat tool and then I can tap on 2D and it takes you as an overhead view. You want to get down and dirty and focus more on the street level, you can use the Pegman icon, this silhouette icon, and simply put it on one of these blue areas uh, that you can see right here. When I do that, I go to the street level view of that particular area and I can navigate simply by tapping and swiping my finger around and I can see this different area. Well, that's a pretty neat feature, but Google Earth is just more than that as well. I can tap on this steering wheel, which is the Voyager feature, and I can go to different parts of the world and have a field trip, a virtual field trip, uh, through travel, nature, culture, and education categories. For example, if I go to history right here and I go to the Taj Mahal, I can see the Taj Mahal, and when I tap on Start Exploring, I can go right to that particular area, and as you can see, there are 11 points of interest. I can navigate through each of those simply by tapping on the arrows down here in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen. I can tap on Pigman to see the street level view of that particular area. And as you can see, I can navigate through that area and I can learn a little bit more by tapping on behind the track. This will give me more behind the scenes information about this area. Uh, so that's the Voyager feature. You can also tap on the dice, which are for the I'm feeling lucky feature. It'll take you to a random part of the globe. And in this instance, it's uh, Multama Falls in Oregon. It'll show you this particular area. You can explore it. You can use the navigation cards and the navigation features to even have students do a writing assignment describing this particular area or writing a story about that area as well. Uh, you want to take a screenshot? No more complicated features on the iPad. All you have to do is simply tap on the camera and now you can take a picture of this area which you could save to your camera roll and put in a Google Slideshow presentation, upload to Google Classroom, etc. If you wanted to share this location with students or students wanted to share it with other people, you can simply tap on the share button right here and copy that link. Once you copy that link, if you paste it into, say, for example, uh, Google Classroom, now other students can go to this location. If you don't have the iPad version of this, you can also use the web version, which is very similar. If you go to Google Earth's website, you can use the Google Earth features. And there's also a version for the Mac and PC that you can download with more extensive features. So if you haven't checked out Google Earth, I invite you to do so. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out.